friends. Thank you for clicking on this and spending just a few minutes learning a little bit more about my outreach that I call No More Shame. I want to talk to you just for a second about why I'm passionate about this and also how I'm helping and invite you to participate in um, how I'm helping and see if that's anything at all that you would be interested in. So No More Shame is about raising funds and awareness to help free girls and women from what I call period shame. And this started in my life about 2015. I was scrolling through my Facebook feed and I ran across this article that talked about how girls in Africa, was what this article was about, actually have to drop out of school when they get to the age where they start their period or, or sometime after that because they do not have supplies to stop the flow of blood from being on them and on their clothes. And they can't go to school for those days while they're on their period. And just logically, when you miss a few days every month, and then that time that you miss adds up over the months, then eventually, for many of them, it gets to be too hard to catch up and keep up, and so they drop out of school. And the Holy Spirit just kind of did this little stirring in my heart. When I read that, I was actually kind of emotional about it and wiped some tears because it just hit on something inside me. I didn't know this was a part of our world. I was completely ignorant that this happened and that this was such a big issue for women. I would learn later, also in my backyard, but at the time I thought actually just far away. And that kind of stirring just worked in my heart for a couple of years until I actually through an old high school, she's not old, uh, a high school acquaintance, we're kind of getting old. Um, I was connected with a woman by the name of Linda Muth who does this kind of work. She does women's health, women's education uh, in El Salvador. And she does that work through the Lutheran Church. And Linda and I struck up a friendship via email and we talked on the phone some. And I kind of just reached out to her and said, I know that you help girls in El Salvador stay in school. How is it that me, this little woman, this ministry, this small ministry, I have um, no real influence in the world, except I just have this stirring passion on my heart that I think that maybe the Holy Spirit would use me to make a difference in this. And she was so gracious and spent some time educating me kind of on her work and, and this issue. And then also encouraged me in something that has been real transformational for me in terms of the work. And that is to in, a, adopt a concept that she calls glocal. And she said to me, you'll have more influence or um, ability to help, right? Internationally, like with a, a ministry like hers, if you also focus locally and you will have more uh, influence and able to help locally if you also focus internationally. And I thought, what an interesting thing, like dividing actually was a way to um, make things, both areas stronger. But I actually, I took her advice and I uh, began to do um, some research on trying to find some places locally that might be in need of boxes of, and bags of pads and tampons to serve the women and girls that they work with. And um, talk about wrecking my heart all over again. I had no idea, sorry, the social workers in our schools that help girls out of their own money uh, because girls come to them needing supplies. I had no idea the amount of people that bring things to the food pantry. So glad people bring food to the food pantry, but how seldom feminine hygiene products are contributed. And so I have, in the last year or so, created relationships with several schools and food pantries, and I do what I call ladies' drives, where we just collect boxes of pads and tampons and deliver them to different agencies who will use them for the girls and women they serve. And then I also do presentations and fundraisers for Linda in El Salvador, and I send that money to her, and it does two things in El Salvador, which is exciting, because it makes Days for Girls kits that are handed out in schools. And if you're interested at all in finding out more about Days for Girls, it's daysforgirls.org, a wonderful organization that makes reusable sanitary feminine hygiene kits and distributes them globally all over the place. You can read stories, and there are a lot of stories that will just break your heart about why this work is needed, but it is important to educate ourselves and to know, at least I have found that to be true for me. And so they make Days for Girls kits and they hand them out to the girls in the schools in El Salvador. And then also a program that we're able to support is there are actually some women in El Salvador who've trained, been trained to make the kits. And some of our funds goes to help them buy supplies 
and provide a small stipend. They pay themselves, when they can, $5 a day. This is not some kind of um, big money <laughs> that these women are making. But um, so we are helping to empower women, one, by helping them stay in school when they're young, but also by having something that they can do with their hands, with their skills, and makes some money um, of their own. So I'm very excited about the work in El Salvador. I'm very excited about the work that we're doing locally with several agencies and food pantries. And I just wanted to extend an invitation to you um, that you, if you are interested in this at all, you can help in several ways. The first is you can do a ladies drive wherever you are. If you have a book club, if you have a ministry group, uh, uh, United Methodist women have invited me in to speak about this, whatever denomination you are, it's certainly not uh, unique to United Methodists, right? Um, if you have a, um, a circle at your church, there's a sewing circle actually that's um, gaining some information on how my, they might actually be able to help make some of the components for the Days for Girls kits reach out to me. I'm going to put my email address um, right right here so that you can see it, but reach out to me because I would love to help you organize a ladies drive, learn more about days for girls. If you would like to do a ladies drive and give me the products, I have places to take them, or it's even better if it stays where you are so you can support your local agencies. That would be phenomenal. Um, also, I am excited when I get an invitation to come in to a group like that um, either a Christian group or a social group and just talk about this issue. If you need a speaker for something or if you're passionate about this and you would like to contribute and invite some people in that might give some money, I would be happy to come. And when I do that, I can do that in a variety of ways. I actually have a very personal story about abuse from my childhood and overcoming that and what Christ has done in my heart. That's one of the reasons I call it No More Shame because I feel so strongly that Jesus has helped free me from so much shame and I want to be a part of doing that for other people. I do a Bible study with it on the woman at the well and um, so it's about a 40-45 minute presentation. I can do the whole thing. I can do part of it. I can do a Bible study. I cannot do a Bible study. Whatever might suit your group. So if you want to do a ladies drive and do something locally, that would be awesome. If you want to send um, money for Linda in El Salvador, that would be awesome. If you want to invite me in to hear more about it, that would be awesome. So I just, I talk about this a lot and I just wanted to share a little bit more from my heart so that if you wanted to, you could have some more information about it. So again, thank you for taking about eight minutes of your time and learning a little bit more about why this issue is so dear to my heart. Peace.